Right now we are in Torpa and we have the mountain of Sinfjell just uh, behind us actually. And uh, this has actually been a family place uh, since 1969. When I was 18 years old and went back from Alaska being a handler there, I, uh, my grandfather said you can stay at the cabin for a while. But that was in 1991 and I'm still here. My name is uh, Thomas Ranir and I'm the Finnmark Slope champion, Aditor champion and the Femen champion. And I've also been doing sprint sport and uh, stage racing and mid-distance. So it's been uh, many years in dog marching. In dog marching, I think you have different types of dog mushers. And I am the one who has passion for the dogs. You know, I have the life for dogs and I just love to be around the dogs. But you know, in dog marching, you have so many things. You also have the nature, you know, the, the cold weather, the warm weather, the storms, uh, all the nice mountains you're going over, uh, all the big goals you are looking forward for. You know, we are starting training in August and the film race race or Dick Rodder is in March. So you always have these big goals that you are looking forward to. So for me, dog marching is just, it's a passion, but it's, it's a, what I call a rich, complicated life. The equipment we had in the 80s was a lot different than we had now. And the, the last 10 years, it's changed a lot. And I think the most important is, is that the equipment has changed so we can give actually the dogs better care. The booties, the harnesses, the hour clothing, the sleds, everything is on a higher level. And this is also really important that you can actually protect your dogs from frostbites, from wind, and all the things that are when you're outside. I think mush mushers are not mushers because of money or winning races. It's uh, you know it's, it's a lot of people doing mushing that are not winning races, but it is a lot of work. And I think every spring, I think every dog musher actually thinks this is too much. You know, it's too much work. But you have that passion, and I think for me it will be really hard to stop doing mushing, even if I'm not racing. 